hope you're okay. Well, I've recently looked at the Lava U concert ukulele and the Enya Nova U concert ukulele. And people have asked me to compare the two. I think they're quite different. Uh, they both advertise themselves as being carbon fibre. That's not strictly true. Neither of them are 100% carbon fibre. But they do have properties that set them apart from things like the ABS, uh, Corolla Explore type, uh, and the Waterman ukuleles that are just pure plastic. Uh, they're they're yeah, better than those, I think. But it's, um, it's worth comparing because they both come uh, with different accessories and things, and they have different properties. So we will compare them. First of all, the Enya. Now, it's worth talking about what they come with because the Enya comes with this case, which is a sort of semi-hard. Uh, it's not like a pod case. It's, it's actually reasonably tough. I'm making it ring inside. Uh, but it's not, it's not a hard case. Uh, and it has these two zips, which I have to say are not simple. Um, and you have to open them fully, otherwise the lid doesn't open properly. So I'm not that enamoured with the case. I haven't been using this case at all because it's just too much of a faff. Uh, the ukulele comes inside. Now, the accessories that this comes with are a strap. Uh, it already comes with strap buttons fitted. You get a little accessory bag that you could put a tuner in, I suppose. Uh, it comes with a, a capo if you're that way inclined, some spare strings and USB cable. So you get a few bits and pieces with it. Uh, the strings as fitted as standard are, I believe, polycarbonate. They weren't for me. I've, I've changed them for the Nui Nui Black Tide strings, which I prefer, a bit softer. Um, it's a half thickness ukulele, so technically you'd call it a travel ukulele. We plug in the USB on the bottom to charge it. The battery's inside and, and sealed. Um, and then you've got the controls on the top here. So that's uh, the Enya Nova U. Now the Lava U comes in this rather funky uh, pod case with rubber feet on the bottom. Um, and metal D-rings. So this is a solid case. A uh, little push catch to open it. Uh, the ukulele obviously inside. Just take that out for a second. So inside the case we've got a little storage compartment which you can fit a tuner in if you want. Um, accessories that come with it. You get the USB cable to charge it and um, a pick and a cleaning cloth. You don't get a strap. Um, now that's worth looking at because the strap on the Lava U is a proprietary strap and they're not available yet so that's a little bit of an oversight. So at the moment if you want to use this with a strap you'll have to fit a couple of strap buttons which um, you know, it's, it's a, a plastic carbon fibre mix. Now, comparing the two, starts to get interesting when we actually look at the ukuleles themselves. So, both ukuleles are uh, concert size and slightly different uh, thicknesses, as you can see there. This is, is getting on for a standard concert sized thickness. Both are available in acoustic or electroacoustic with effects built in, and both have little speakers inside. Now I've done separate uh, reviews and sound demos on both of these so it's better if you go to those uh, and listen to them there uh, because both ukuleles will plug in or you can play through, um, obviously you can play them acoustically or you can switch on the effects and listen to the effects. The effects are very similar, both have reverb, both have chorus effects which sort of thicken up the sound um, a little bit. Um, the Lava also has an echo effect, so an additional effect there that's also available by, by switching. The Lava is probably a bit 
neater in that you don't have an out external USB charge. It's it's plugged. You plug it in there. You can plug a standard USB. It's USB C on this one um, cable in to charge it. Uh, they provide you a nice little right angle one to uh, to go in and charge. So you can do that. Obviously appearances. That's up to you. Uh, which one you prefer? Both are uh, arguably acquired tastes. Um, depends what you like. So, as far as handling goes, they both have radius fretboards, but um, the Enya has uh, the fretboard is made out of the carbon fibre and plastic mix, uh, whereas you have got metal frets on the lava. Uh, as I said, both radiused. Composition wise, this, the Enya, is 30% uh, carbon fibre, whereas the Lava, they tell me that the majority is carbon fibre. So that implies that it's more than 50%. And I have to say that um, in terms of feel, the Lava does feel more solid to me, so uh, feels much more robust. The finish on it is is nice. So this has a, a slightly more matte uh, feel to it, whereas this is quite smooth. Um, again, that's going to be preference. Tuners wise, well, there they couldn't be more different. They're very ordinary geared tuners on here. These are geared tuners, but they are so silky smooth. They're beautiful tuners. Um, price wise. Well, the um, the Enya uh, around 170 pounds, and the Lava is about uh, 320s, almost double the price. But I must say, you know, longevity and so on. I have more confidence in this one because uh, the, the the metal on the frets for a start. Handling wise, this does does handle better. I've left the polycarbonate strings on this for now. Uh, both, as I say, come with polycarbonate strings to start with. I believe they're polycarbonate. Um, I was playing this probably four hours or so yesterday. Um, my fingers are a little bit sore today um, because I'm not used to these the harder strings. I'm, I'm much more used to these black tied strings, which are softer. But um, there you go. That's the two. So uh, sound wise, I think there's a little bit more depth to the lava. Um, than the Enya. I'll just um, and then compare that. So a bigger sound uh, certainly from from the lava, and um, then you can add the effects and so on. But on both of them, the effects, although there's little speakers inside, the effects don't noticeably add any volume, um, but you will hear the effects through the speaker. Both are much more effective plugged in. And uh, I suggest you go and have a look at my uh, sound demo uh, videos that I've done. So I've reviewed both ukuleles separately and given you sound demos as well. So I hope that helps. Um, Go and have a look at those other videos and uh, make your choice. Cheers!